person who's constantly frowning, that's not a person you want to be around. So here's the key. When you have a better attitude and you start to attract people to you that can work with you, you start having more success. And it changes the next element. The next element is that it will change your beliefs. Where you thought you couldn't do before, you will start doing more because you believe more in yourself. So let me stop the music here. I want to say something, I hope you get this. I hope that out of, out of everything I'm saying, I hope you get this one thing. When you believe more in yourself, you will perform at a higher level. When someone is telling you you can't do it, and in your head you keep saying, they don't really know me, I know I can. When you have that kind of belief, it causes you to succeed. If you look at anybody who's ever invented something, the, per the persons or the people around them would say, that person's a nut, he's a coot. But they believe so much that they made it happen. You could go all the way back to Henry Ford when he was working on that car. The Wright brothers when they were trying to fly. Martin Luther King when he was trying to create peace. Everybody thought they were coots. Even the person who invented bottled water says, okay, I'm going to bottle water. They say, what do you mean? I'm not paying for water. Water's not going to work. But if you believe in it, you can make it happen. Your beliefs. Okay? Now, here's the next thing I want to tell you about beliefs. Once you get beliefs in check, here's what happens. You start to expect more of yourself. Your expectations soar. Where you didn't think you could do, you believe that you can do. And when something goes wrong, you go back to the fact, well, that's probably just off that day. That is the foundation of all success. I want you to flip the page. I want to talk to you about confidence. Confidence is important because it persuades people to go along with you. If there's a bad idea, but you're confident about it, then people tend to go more toward where you're going because you're so confident about it. I've got a picture of, a, of a, a guy on there by the name of Mike Tyson. Does everybody remember Mike Tyson when he was fighting? Yeah, he was Huh? Yeah, Mike was scaring people. And I'm going to tell you something Mike said. I never thought I'd quote Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson said, everybody has a plan until I hit him in the mouth. So here I'm here to tell you, no matter what your, your proposal is, no matter what your presentation is, something's going to happen when you present. And that is, that it's going to shake your confidence. But I want you to go back to this time that we're discussing right now. And here's what I'm saying to you. When you get that first blow in your confidence, you can't stop. I want you to expect it. Not everyone's going to agree with you. And keep going back to what I told you earlier. Keep your habits right. Get your attitude down and believe in yourself. Then expect that that person is just wrong. Or they don't see it as clearly as you do. Do not let your confidence wane. How many thoughts do you think you have a day? A lot. Bless you. How many do you think? Yeah, well over. Matthew, what were you going to say? Okay. You know what experts say we have? 50,000 thoughts. 50,000 thoughts a day. Just think for a second. As I'm talking to you right now, every minute that I'm talking to you, you will have three or four thoughts that have nothing to do with what I'm talking about. And you're listening to me. You're looking right at me. And I'll be talking. I'll be trying to throw it out. I'm really trying to get it to you. go, he's taller than the last speaker. And I'm trying to really get into this and go, what did you say about that? And I'll say something else. You go, oh, Matthew moved over here. Your brain is moving so fast that those thoughts keep coming. Now, here's what's critical. Out of the 50,000 thoughts a day, how many of those thoughts do you think are negative in the average person? 49,000. 49,000? <laughs> what did you say, Matthew? Right here. Zaya. Zaya. The moment I said that, Zaya had a negative thought. She was, oh, my God. She had a negative thought. So here's what I'm telling you. The key to you being successful is to control those negative thoughts. So the key is it's not that they said it, it's that I keep saying it to myself. 
You ever have an argument with someone and you go, when they said this, I should have said this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, well, it's too late then. So here's what I'm saying to you. When you go back to habit, the same argument that you had with that person, it's going to happen again. Prepare yourself. Get a habit of saying, this is what I'm going to say when they say that. And go, next time. You get what I'm saying? That history keeps repeating. But we keep approaching it like it's brand new. It keeps repeating. I want you to get the right habit down so that you're prepared and it will build your confidence. Here's the next thing I want to talk about. And this, you'll feel more confident by talking to this person. So I want to shut down now and see if there are any questions on anything I've talked about today because they have me on a timeline here. Any questions on anything? Yes? Have you used this? Have I used it? Mm-hmm. It's the only time. Most people close by 1%. You can make 100 calls, just calling people cold, and say, I want to sell Girl Scout cookies. Out of 100, maybe one will buy, because they're going to say, well, I got them at the store, or my neighbor has them. It doesn't work. But what will work is a connection. Good question. Any other questions? Yes? Fourteen years. Yeah. And you have a question. No, I, I think it's a natural thing. People get into it. I use it all the time. And it's funny, they give the Italians credit for doing that, but I see everybody using their hands. So, in fact, don't spend your time thinking about that. Spend your time thinking about what you